Hi, in this video, I will share our new research, Zebra Pose, Course to Find Surface Encoding for Six Degree of Freedom Object Pose Estimation. Given an RGB image of a specific object and its 3D model as reference, our task is to estimate the transformation from its local coordinate to the camera coordinate. This task is important for many applications of augmented reality and robotics. Traditional approaches estimate 2D 3D correspondences through keypoint matching and then solve the pose with PMP. In deep learning, many still follow this two stage pipeline, but extend it to be able to identify keypoint on textureless object. PVNet showed promising results with textureless object, but still lacks accuracy on the occlusion cases. Under such conditions, Dense 2D 3D prediction methods demonstrated more advantages. In a 2D 3D correspondence problem, each 3D point must be assigned a unique descriptor. Present approaches solved this in different ways. However, when defining the task as a regression problem, the regressed 3D point might not be on the object's surface, requiring additional post-processing. On the other hand, Defining the task as classification can be problematic due to the large number of classes. In zebra pose, we define the 2D 3D matching as a classification problem more efficiently by introducing a binary surface encoding. Each 3D corresponding point is assigned a unique 16 bit code. So to classify vertices, we need only 16 output layers, compared to 512 in default for the same number of classes. We encode the object surface hierarchically with the front bits referring to a coarse region, where the end bits are for final matching. We use a hierarchical training strategy to train the network to focus on the most critical bits. More specifically, given an object model, we will group its 3D vertices into two groups and assign a binary ID for each group. For each processed group, we repeat this process. Finally, each vertex will be assigned a binary code consisting of the binary IDs from each group in operation. We use a lookup table to map the binary codes to the centuries of the vertices groups. Our network starts with a cropped object image provided from a 2D detector. An encoder-decoder structure first predicts the object mask, and for every pixel within the object mask, we predict the binary code belonging to its 3D corresponding vertex. Using the predicted codes and the lookup table, we build dense correspondences and solve the object pose using PMP plus RANSEC. To learn the binary code more efficiently, we observe the training error on each bit and the influence of the code length on the estimated object pose. We noticed that early bits converge faster where the later bits are hard to learn. At the same time, the last few bits might not influence the estimated pose at all. So, we propose a hierarchical training strategy to adjust the training rates for each bit dynamically to allow the network to focus on the most critical bits. We evaluated our approach on the most used benchmark datasets. In lambda occlusion, zebra pose is the best RGB-based method exceeding state-of-the-art by 14%. Similar improvement is shown in WSB video as well. We also evaluated zebra pulse in the BOP challenge among RGB-based methods without pulse refinement. We are leading in multiple datasets. Finally, we show some qualitative results of the predicted binary codes and the estimated object pulse. To summarize, Zebra policy is an efficient course to find surface encoding technique to provide 2D 3D correspondences for object pulse estimation. Using a hierarchical training strategy, we maximize the prediction accuracy of the proposed binary vertex code. Experiments show that our methods exceed the performance of the state of the art. Thank you for your attention.